Hello guys, in this tutorial we're gonna start working with motion blur by tackling the movement of the soccer ball on the plate. To start off, we're gonna track the range right before the kick. Create a tracker, create a track. I'm gonna place the tracker point on this area, scroll to the beginning and adjust the track point to the same area. Now put the tracker beneath the plate, click on transform and set transform to stabilize. With the track looking good, we're gonna head back to our sharpest frame, create a roto node, create a circle and start adjusting it to the ball. Now we're gonna add our defocus node and we're gonna start adjusting the shape and the defocus until the alpha and the plate match. Afterwards, we're gonna go to the Roto's motion blur section and check global. Now we're just gonna focus on setting the main keyframes to get some rough motion blur accuracy. Unfortunately, using motion blur leads to a lot of back and forth because every time you make a change, you have to adjust the neighboring frames, taking you into a sort of endless loop. One extra thing to mention, the right way to add tracking data to Roto. Detach the tracker beneath the plate, go to transform settings, select the context menu, copy, copy animation. Go to the Rotos Transform tab, select root, the translates context menu, paste absolute. Back to the roto type, clip 2, no clip. Once you got your shape more or less aligned throughout, you can start adjusting things for real, making sure the alpha matches. One by one, we'll start off adjusting the general shape and even go further down to the points if necessary until we have a precise match between alpha and plate, including the relationship between the core and the motion blur. Because this is a simple shape, the adjustments will be pretty much minor. Nuke is doing most of the work for us now. And that's pretty much it for this introduction into motion blur. If you have any questions or concerns, leave me a comment below and I'll make sure to answer. Also, please do me a favor and like the video just to make sure that like the content that I'm doing is actually helpful for you. Also, please subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all of the lessons that I'm sharing with you in this channel.